Hello world, I'm Mandy Mundo, and this is Niigata, Japan. Niigata Prefecture is a short two and a half hour bullet train ride away from Tokyo. I based myself in Niigata City and I stayed for three nights. And of course, I found a fabulous sushi restaurant. This whole lunch platter costs about $10 and it's even missing two sushi pieces because I already ate them and it was delicious. This is the Saito Villa right behind me, one of the main attractions in Niigata City. Unfortunately, you can't take video inside, but you can take pictures. It costs 300 yen to enter, so it's very cheap, a couple bucks. And you can walk inside the villa and see the different rooms and how they used to be set up, like the tea room and the prayer room. And then you can walk outside in the garden, but beware, the mosquitoes are deadly. <laughs> Good thing I have bug cream in the room. But the garden was very pretty, so definitely worth 300 yen to go spend just a half an hour something to do. But the main thing I did in Niigata was a hop on hop off sightseeing bus tour for the day. So I found this actually by happenstance. I was just looking up things to do in Niigata and came across the sightseeing bus. It operates in the summer on weekends and holidays. I did it on a Saturday but the schedule and the description was only in Japanese, as you can see, so I had to translate it myself. And even the translation was a little bit wrong. It was 300 per trip and 500 per day, not 500 yen per month, but I was able to figure out the schedule and go to different stops. My first stop will be the Wara Art Festival, where they take the old straw from the rice fields and they turn them into sculptures. So this is where the bus dropped me off, and then if you go to the left, there's a building with a toilet, but I'm going to go to the right. The park is just a big loop around, and then if you go off on the side, you can see all the sculptures! So just before the sculptures, there are these signs, and I translated them with my phone. So we have Wind God, I don't know which one that is, uh, Raijin, Big Snake, obviously, Big Snake, Cat Demon, I think that's that one, uh, Spirit Wild Goose over there. So yeah, one of those is Rajin, and one is the wind god. Not sure which. Oh, it's a snake. There's its head. Look, you can go stand in the mouth of the snake. You can also drive straight up to the sculpture. There is a parking lot here on the side of the road, and then the sculptures are just behind those trees. But it is hot. It is September, but it is still hot and humid here in Japan. But I think, according to my weather forecast, maybe next week it will start to cool down. So, one more week. According to the signs, I believe it is a two kilometer loop, so I've gone about one kilometer so far. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm just trying to stay in the shade though. Luckily, the path is pretty well lined with lots of trees. Yeah. 
And along the way, you can find some nice picnic benches to stop and take a water break. There's even a little wildflower patch that you can walk through and check out the butterflies. And then past the wildflower patch, there's a kid's playground. And I even saw some kids riding some little like push go-karts, pedal go-karts. So yeah, having lots of fun. For the next destination, I went to bus stop number one, which is the Iwa Murao stop. I think I'm saying that right. It's basically one of the central stops on the sightseeing tour, and it's known for the onsen, so the Japanese hot baths. It has a souvenir shop and restaurants, and it's lunchtime, so I'm going to take a crack at the South Indian restaurant. Because why not? <laughs> well, that was good. I got, that was the vegetarian platter and then I added the fish, which I think she called it buri, which was a fatty white fish. And it was very, very good, very filling. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm glad that I stopped by at the Indian restaurant. When you see a souvenir shop in Japan, it's not what you're thinking souvenirs like for tourists. It means an actual Japanese kind of mini market. So different snacks and Japanese goods. real handicraft stuff. Because I'm not quite ready for dessert yet, let's go to stop number 12 on the bus tour and go to another Shinto shrine! Because I haven't seen enough of those yet in Japan. The Yahiko Shinto shrine. A moss-covered entryway. What's over here? It's just a forest right off the main road. What is this? Is it a bridge? I don't know. Huh. That's interesting. It's definitely not a bridge. There's a bridge over there, though. Cool. Every shrine will have these little booths here that sells trinkets, um, good luck charms, make donations, things like that. And here we have to purify ourselves. If we're going into a shrine, we should purify it. I love these stone lanterns. Those are my favorite. With the mountains in the background, how cool is this? There's actually a line to go up to pray. I haven't seen that before. But what a beautiful backdrop. Definitely one of the cooler ones I've seen. They're clapping four times, but at the other shrines I've been to, you clap two times, so I'm not sure what the difference is. Okay, I'm ready for dessert now. And what am I going to get? Fruit sandwiches! First time. Looks like it's part of a cute little courtyard of shops. The shop is called Three O'Clock Sweets. Mmm. 
coder here pick up here? Mm -hmm. I don't think they just have the sandwiches. Oh wait, over here. There's more. There we go. Fruit sandwich. Uh, we have the banana and chocolate. Mm. Or kiwi, orange, pineapple, banana. You'll get that one. I probably should have got a tapioca drink instead because it's so hot, but I just had to try the fruit sandwich. So that's the one I went for. All right, let's give it a go. <laughs> mm. I got the orange side first. Mm. I love the cream. Still refreshing. Mmm. Mmm. There's kiwi on there too. Last stop before heading back home to the train station, I had to check this place out, another confectionery, and voted the number one snack. I think shaped like pandas. It's these right here. Pandas with some filling. I have no idea what flavors I got. I couldn't read it. I'm assuming that one's the matcha. I'll have to translate it here in a sec. Let's see. So it was chocolate cream on the left, custard in the middle, and then the one on the right, it didn't translate. So I think it's actually this special one. Is it just soybean paste? I didn't care for that one, but I did like the custard and the chocolate one very much. And then it was the panda itself, I think is like the mochi. And they're not for now, they're for later since I just had my fruit sandwich, but they are warm, like fresh out of the whatever they're made in, warm. And that was my three night stay in Niigata. Up next will be three nights on Sado Island. Stay tuned.